good, I don't know, mid-afternoon, it's early afternoon, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, lounging, at least to the video series that has me lounging, <coughs> and coughing, while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Um, I'm on a work break, I've actually been working, I started to feel a little bit better a while ago, and I started to spring into action as a sales representative for the Community News in Linesville, PA. So, I'm just taking a little bit of a break and thought I would get with you to let you know something. Um, I want you to take a guess of where we're going tonight for dinner. It's my sister's last night in town. She leaves tomorrow. So, we're going to Greenville. Yay! For those of you who have no clue of what I speak, I've done columns about it. I did a video, I think I mentioned this, and also the video of Mother. How strange that lighting is. Um, my mother lives for this restaurant in Greenville. It used to be the Greenville Country Club. She was not a member. She's never been a member of any country club. Actually, I think we were, like, when Dad was alive and I was a kid, we, the Edinburgh Country Club or something, and then we got a pool and didn't care. Anyhow, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Uh, yes, anytime anything special happens, we've got to go to Greenville. We're going to Greenville. So, tonight we are going to Greenville, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're just dying to know of our dining plans, but it will make Mother so happy. The woman... She'll just be delighted over the Greenville thing. That's all it takes for her, really. In fact, for her 90th birthday dinner, we went to Greenville. Yep. So that's what's going on here. I'm listening to um, a little bit of Tom Hartman while I do my traffic. You're just like crosstown traffic. Trying to get through to you. Oh, by the way, Jimi Hendrix never really died. He's Morgan Freeman. I think I've been over this. I love to burst into this um, actor-based reality theory from time to time because it's so funny. Oh, I was mentioning Tom Hartman, but he, he's, I don't think, played by an actor. <laughs> no. Anyhow, um, something prior to that that I was going to mention. Oh, yeah, my sister was over earlier, and I was playing some old music on the phone, and uh, I came across that Ricky Nelson. You remember the Ozzy and Harriet? Um, according to this actor-based reality, Ricky Nelson never died, ladies and gentlemen. Have no fear, because he is now Mitt Romney. It's supposedly, this is how this works, for those who are new to this, and I'm, I'm sorry, I really don't buy it. Um, how this actor-based reality works, basically, is they, like the person playing the part of Ricky Nelson also plays the part of Mitt Romney. That kind of deal. So it's not like... I don't know. I guess they think Ozzy Harriet, the whole thing was fake. I have no idea. Um, okay. Moving back to Tom Hartman. I've been listening to him, and he had that... I think he's really trying to push this congressman, Mark Pocam, on us. And I'm sorry. I just... There's something about Pocam that I don't trust. I just get a feeling about him, a gut feeling, you know. Um... I just, I don't trust him. And plus, he, uh, oh, thank goodness, a lot of the callers that were calling in when he was on the show today were going on about interstate cross-check. And I swear, it was like um, almost the same thing I said in my video with a couple of them that called in about how nothing's going to change until we address this issue. And why don't we just make interstate cross-check illegal? But he had some excuse for it. It's because the Democrats use it too, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to burst your bubble. All right, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me really going on about nothing. Have a good one. Back to work I go.